Hi guys, I've got a page in my traveler's notebook today and this notebook is actually the insert that comes in the Lemon Grove kit from Coco Daisy. Now I did go through this notebook and pull out um, a few of the pages. I know I'm definitely not going to use all of these pages uh, and I wanted to just make sure that the book didn't get too thick so I pulled out some of the ones that I knew I wouldn't use uh, and I'm just going to have an insert with the pages that I need and want and can get finished. Finished. Now in the kit is this really beautiful wood veneer frame. It says sunshine um, which wasn't super appropriate for my page but once I printed my photo I realized that the frame was going to fit my photo almost perfectly so I did want to use it and what you've seen me do there is just super carefully use a craft knife and a cutting mat just to cut the word sunshine out. Now I've done that so carefully so that I can use the the little sunshine piece separately but this gives me two wood veneer pieces out of the one so the trick to that is to just do it really slowly and really gently I'm not trying to cut through the entire wood veneer piece in one swipe um, I'm just I go through it several times just to slowly slowly go through it to stop it chipping or splitting um, but you can see that that works really nicely this is that super thin wood veneer too so I'm not worried about any sort of bulk in my uh, traveler's notebook insert um, it, this is thinner than chipboard so it's super perfect now because that cut so nicely, I decided I'm going to use um, another one of the wood veneer pieces in the kit and do the exact same thing. So this says sun and fun, but obviously that's not what my photo is about. My photo is about Lily's bath time. Um, so I am going to cut off the S and the ampersand there, um, which makes unfun. And now I know that's not technically a word but I think it works perfectly for this um, photo. The S I'll probably never use again but that ampersand is still perfectly good to use um, and this time I used my Tim Holtz scissors because it was so thin that wood veneer I thought it would give it a go and see if it worked and it did it worked perfectly so two options for cutting that really thin wood veneer um, a knife and a cutting mat or some really sharp scissors like that. Now I went through the papers from the kit um, and I really like this blue tile looking one. Remnant I guess is sort of like water or tiles from the bathroom despite the fact that I don't have beautiful blue tiles in my bathroom. It just it kind of worked with the page um, and I do want to keep the page a little bit sort of more subtle I guess. I've used um, this printed background. It is like a wood wooden board so again kind of bathroomy um, and I'm just going to keep everything really sort of blue on this page. Now I tore a strip off that paper so that it would have a little white edge on it and it's super hard to see here on camera but I did take that over to my sewing machine and just stitch down the left side a few times just to give it a little bit of texture. It's um, more of a textural sort of thing than a design element I guess. It's very hard to see here on camera in real life. It is a little bit more pronounced. So this is the base for my page and I'm just going to really minimally embellish this. I don't want to do too much much to it because that page um, is already printed to start off with there's not a whole lot that you have to do to it what I love are some of the labels in this kit uh, so I really want to make a feature of those so I'm just going through this is there's two die cut packs in here if you haven't seen my unboxing video I'll link that up here um, but there are two die cut packs in this traveler's notebook kit so there's uh, this one here that has all the different shapes uh, and then there's a whole bunch of labels and it was those labels that really I really wanted to utilize because there's lots of blue ones in here but also these really pretty silver ones and I did want to use um, some of the silver ones again it's that sort of shiny chrome sort of element just reminded me of a bathroom I just thought it worked really nicely with the blue so what I've done is pulled out um, some labels the blue and the silver ones and also a couple of other pieces from the die cut pack just something in blue I don't end up using any of them I don't think because I just stick with these labels here as a way to uh, embellish this page now you can see here how shiny um, those actual silver labels are they're so beautiful they're like not just silver I mean they really are like chrome so it's really really pretty 
there is a sticker sheet in the kit that does have a bunch of labels on it as well so I am going to use the blue ones from there too and I'm going to create three clusters of labels so I'm just starting um, one of those silver labels I cut in half to utilize those so I am using one half underneath my photo and that's a much more solid label so I've covered that with one of the label stickers and then I'm just going to stick the other two one towards the bottom of the right page and one towards the top corner. Um, the one down the bottom was one of the ones I'd already cut in half so I didn't need to cut that but the one at the top I've just overhung off the edge of the page and then trimmed that down with my scissors. So on top of both of those other silver labels I've added another one of the blue label stickers um, and then I'm going to stamp out the rest of my title using the stamp set that comes in the kit as well and this is just it's a really great stamp set I really love it it's the perfect size for traveler's notebooks like this. Now I'm stamping in quite a dark blue ink um, to match the paper. I went and found a blue that was sort of dark but bright to match the blue in the paper. Um, so I am making sure to wipe the stamp on my stamp shimmy um, after each stamping just to make sure it doesn't stain too much. This is a memento ink and it, it doesn't stain terribly badly but because it is that darker blue I did want to make sure that that didn't happen. And this is the title, it's super simple. I was just stamping bath time and I'm gonna sit my unfun wood veneer piece on top of that. So it's unfun bath time, um, which I'm sure Lily would agree with as an appropriate title for this photo. She um, hates having a bath. Uh, we, we love her having a bath because it means she doesn't smell quite as bad as normal, um, but it's definitely not her favorite time of day. Now I play around with this die cut arrow but because the background is really quite light even though it's printed it is really light uh, and the top of the arrow is just white it didn't really stand out enough so I sort of played around with placing it on top of the title but I felt like it hid too much of it to be readable so instead I give up on that little arrow and I'm just going to do some journaling instead so to make sure that I'm getting that journaling um, nice and straight to give me a place to put it I am ruling a few lines really lightly in pencil first using my t-square ruler and then I can fill in my journaling and I'm just going to use a grey pen I felt like um, black would be too dark and too overwhelming for the page there's nothing really black on this page so the grey works nicely it's sort of ties together all of those uh, lighter colors. And once I've finished up my journaling, I can really lightly erase those pencil lines and that is this page all done. This kit is still available from the Coco Daisy shop and I am loving it. I have made so many pages you guys so you will definitely be seeing a few more videos in the future um, but this one is one of my favorites so I'll leave the link below for you. Head over there to the shop and check it out. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching there's a couple more videos on screen otherwise I'll see you next time. Bye guys.